Russian troops are trying to destabilize Ukraine, claim U.S. and British officials. But Russia's foreign minister says that's not the case. We are deeply convinced, and nobody has so far challenged this conviction, that the situation cannot be calmed down and changed into national dialogue if the Ukrainian authorities go on ignoring the interests of the southeastern regions of the country. Moscow now has thousands of troops massed along its border with eastern Ukraine. And though it insists it has no intentions of invading, Moscow says it reserves the right to defend ethnic Russians in the country. Analyst Irina Timchazin says Russia has a very clear mandate. The Russian strategy appears to be that um, to restore the Soviet Union as it was uh, before the collapse of the Soviet before 1991 and possibly more. I think Putin actually considers himself to be the collector of Russian lands. And by Russian, he unfortunately means countries like Ukraine, because uh, Russia did not recognize, has not recognized to date Ukraine as a separate state. In Kiev, a meeting between the parliament and communist deputies ended in a scuffle, highlighting the high level of tensions within the country's borders. Pre-planned and coordinated provocation against our country has started. It was organized by the intelligence services in the Russian Federation. But the head of the Communist Party in Ukraine countered that comment, blaming inaction by Ukrainian officials who say they ignore the needs of the people. The most important thing is to answer the question what exactly the Ukrainian authorities did in order to prevent these events in the asset. Let's start with analyzing the demands of the citizens who remain the people of Ukraine living in Luhansk, Donetsk and other regions they came to the streets with and what's right they want to defend. In the flashpoint town of Kharkiv in eastern Ukraine, residents also remain split. We demand a referendum and the gang which is now meeting at the parliament should not impose their opinion on us. The situation we have in Kharkiv now is being escalated solely by the Russian side. It is in Russia's interest to return Kharkiv, Donetsk and Luhansk under its control. It is in its interest. Analyst Tim Chazin agrees. Right now, the West is sending a message which is very different, just uh, indicating consistent, quite dismay over Putin's actions. For him, it means he can go ahead and do as he pleases because he does not feel that the response will be sufficiently damaging for him. But the political chess game continues to be played out on the border of Ukraine and Russia with no clear winner in sight. Though analysts say it is clear that Mr. Putin is determined to be the victor and likely before the May 25th elections in Ukraine. Mary Mata, VOA News, London.